Before you begin casting, gather the material that you will need. The amount of material may vary for each patient due to size and age of patient. The materials for the owner gutter cast are 1 2 inch white fiberglass roll, 1 2 inch color fiberglass roll, 1 2 or 3 inch cotton roll, 2 or 3 inch stockinette, 10 inches of 2 inch stockinette, scissors, and cold water. To prepare for the owner gutter cast, size the 2 inch or 3 inch stockinette from the MCP joints to the 2 inches before the antecubical fossa and leave about 3 inches extra on each end of the stockinette. Do not open the fiberglass until you are ready to apply it because it will harden when exposed to air. Lastly, make sure you have cold water. The positioning for the owner gutter cast is with the forearm in neutral with the wrist in 30 degrees extension. The 4th and 5th digits are in 90 degrees with the DIP and PIP in neutral. This position is called intrinsic plus. After you are done, clean your area and discard the water. This is the owner gutter fiberglass cast. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some 2 inch stockinette, place over the 4th and 5th digit. You can also use 1 inch if you want to. Uh, if you don't want some big mills or somebody's got a lot of girth in their hand, you're going to have to use 2 inch stockinette. The 1 inch is just too small. So you, I would like to use the 2 inch. And then what I can do is tuck it in so it just stays out of the way. And then I like to cut the excess off right there at the MP joints. And then it can stay like that right there so it's out of the way. And then take the stocking net, some more two inch or three inch. And then go over the hand. Leaving about two or three inches on both ends. And then for the owner gutter, you want to get the thumb hole, the little neck, that's all you need. So you got the thumb out. Now you want to get uh, these two fingers out. So how you do that is you make a cut down the lateral aspect of the fourth and fifth digit. All the way to the MP joints. All right. And then this is out and it comes out. And then she has these two nice and free. The first, second, third digit, nice and free, and the fourth and fifth digit is tucked in, and it's ready to be casted. All right. I know it's like a mess right now, but you'll see it come together. Take the two-inch stockinette, and I like to roll distal, I'm proximal distal, two, three, fifty-fifty. Nice 50-50 overlay. Remember, a nice even cast. All right, this one we don't have to worry about the MP joint. So what you do is just come around the thumb once, and then you want to do a three quarters cut. See how it's nicely laying there? And then do a half cut. And then go around three times the, with the fingers of the fourth and fifth. All right, that's three layers right there. Then you want to come back down. So you can do a three quarters cut, just as we was rolling a splint. You want a good two or three layers right there. If you can't see, like you can't make it over the MP joints, is a good example. Uh, you can do another cut if you need to. And I go right to the edge. So you just have a little bitty eighth of an inch cotton showing right there and then you can go right over the edge then you go around the empty joints again and capture everything you did on the bowler side here and we'll tuck all them cuts in making it nice and pretty and even and that's all you need is not a lot of uh cotton right here it's only three layers a lot of people will just roll 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 because they're afraid they're going to make the skin show but that's all you need. You might need a little extra because well, the owner gutter does take a little extra. So that's about it. Just get another inch, get another two inch out. Put what you need and cut the rest. Now, if you got the uh, cotton on there, you're ready for the fiberglass. Again, I like to start proximal. It's just the way I roll. If you want to roll distal, you can.
go up 50-50. Make sure your thumb is nice and free. All right, then you wanna do your cuts around the thumb, just like we taught you in the short arm and in general information. So you just wanna make your cut to where you have only have a half inch showing. Do your corner fold, twist, tuck all your uh, little bits in right there, little sprags, and then uh, come back and do another corner fold, okay? Once you do that, we're gonna do something different here. We're gonna go right up to the fingers here. So come up 50-50, still working your way 50-50. You wanna do a almost a three quarters cut or a little more if you need to. Same thing, you're gonna do a little twist, 180 twist and then corner fold, okay? Notice how it's nicely layered, okay? What you wanna do is not come in tight right here with between the fingers, you want them nice and free. Okay, building up. So you're gonna do another half cut here. Corner fold, twist, tucking all the little sprig sprigs in. Going up 50-50. All right, now once you get to there, you can do a good three layers around the fingers. If you have somebody with shorter fingers, you wanna make cuts right here, okay? You're doing the same moves, okay? Come back down. I'm gonna try to make a good cut here, so I'm gonna do a Almost just leaving an eighth of an inch there. I'm gonna do a corner fold, twist, tucking all those little sprigs in, and then coming down, okay? Now you're gonna go around the MP joints. So you can make your cut, so you get a half inch from the end. Corner fold, twist. Corner fold, and then what you wanna do is capture all that right there, okay? and then come on down to the base of the thumb. All right, and then once you work your way down 50-50, all the way to the bottom. If you need to grab another two inch to finish it up, you can. I'll go ahead and do that for you, just to show you. I only have two layers right there, so just do another layer if you need to, and then cut it. You don't need to wait and roll the whole roll. Now that you want to go ahead and tuck everything in. So bring back the bottom. All right, if you need to cut some of it off, you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, show you. That's just too much stocking that left over. That sometimes happens. All right, go up here, cut it too if you need to. Go an inch, inch and a half, above the thumb make a little nick you don't need something big and then stretch it out covering up most of the fiberglass as you can okay once you got that now it's time to go inside and get the two inch from the fourth and fifth digit and just pull it out remember if you lay it on top you want to pull it from the top all right so you don't pull out the whole two inch stocking that you put in there and then just fold it back covering everything now everything's nice and tucked in there all right you can see the tips of the fingers making sure you mold as you go okay if you're not a fast roller you want to mold as you go so you want that 30 degrees extension at the wrist and 90 degrees at the MP joints pushing down on the knuckles all right once you got that on there you can go straight to the color All right, I like to start distal right here with the color. So I go around, one single layer is all you need. Working your way, 50-50, you got it. Do a corner fold, twist. You want no sprigs in here, okay? Cause that will cut the patient's finger right there. So no sprigs, so make sure you tuck that stuff in. All right, once you get around the knuckles, it's time to go around the thumb. Same thing, do your all the way to a half inch. Corner fold, twist, return, corner fold, and then capture that right there, okay? And then go straight to the base of the thumb. You want that thumb nice and free. Notice that 
since I was molding there, it's basically in the position I need to be. But you want to hurry at this point, but don't hurry too much that you mess the cast up. So do 50-50. Nice even layers. All right, once you get out to the end, notice I got that half inch show under the stockinette. You want to cut it, okay? Once you get that done, you want to mold it. And also you want to rub the fiberglass as you go. It's a lot to do, I know. So just go ahead and mold and rub, rub and mold. All right, making sure you get the cast hardened. If your patient is good, they'll hold it for you in the position they need you to, but then that's not gonna happen in all the cases like that. They're gonna to wanna to do this with their hand. So you're gonna to have to keep pressing your hand back and cock it up for them. Okay, but you want that nice 30 degrees extension at the wrist, 90 degrees at the MP joints, and pushing down these knuckles. You want it nice and flat, okay? You don't want it curved. You want it nice and flat, so make sure you push down the knuckles. All right, and just let it harden. You rub it down, you know, nice and flat. There you go. Rub down this end right here, because that will definitely peel back there, so. Just let it harden. And that is the owner got a cast. This is the conclusion of this video, and thank you for your time.